Okay, here we go with another victory on a Sunday. Kinita, we're so excited. Kanina, si Yumer Marshall just won his fight in Las Vegas. And almost at the same time, we have our tennis sensation, Alex Diallo, winning a $25,000 tournament in Thailand. And she's joining us right now. Do you know where she is, Kinita? She's with her dad. Congratulations, Mike and Alex. Thank you. And they're in the gym. They're in the Hello. <laughs> I see the trophy. I see the trophy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, tell, tell us trophy. about this competition. I, I'm so excited. It's a, it's the first tournament of uh, four legs of uh, of uh, IPF tournaments here in Thailand. So it's two 25 Ks and one 15 uh, and two 15 Ks after. Alex is scheduled to play three tournaments. So this is the first. And it's her first tournament in Asia since, uh, how long was the last tournament? Uh, since a long time. Since a long time ago, <laughs> maybe junior or sometime ago, maybe in Osaka in, uh, 2019. in 2019 or 2018, maybe, or 2019. But it's been a long while, and I think it's a, it's a fantastic chance for her to play again. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, Alex, can you update us? Who are the rivals whom you toppled on the way to the throne? And how close was the match? Um, I think the closest match was definitely the first one. I lost the first set and was down 3-0 in the second. Um, but I managed to fight my way through that match. And, um, of course, encountering a couple more obstacles uh, the next few matches. But I'm happy with the way I played and my attitude on court. Yes. Yeah, Alex, I mean... This final, I was able to watch it a little bit on in the Thai Facebook page. You were playing against the former world number 60 plus, Sikum Kum. She's a very famous Thai player. And you pretty much controlled the whole game. Can you tell us, after winning four matches, round of 32, 16, quarter semis, your fifth match um, in the heat in Thailand, how, how was it for you? You won 6-4, 6-2 quite easily. How are you well, feeling in the game? Well, I was feeling very good. Uh, I, I've been working a lot, a lot on my fitness and back in the academy, and we pay a lot of attention to that. And I think I prepared well for the heat here um, and was also mentally very prepared. Uh, I think that's why I was able to execute my game and my uh, strategy so well today. What yeah, so the weather, the weather conditions that uh, Diane was mentioning about. Uh, how you adjusted to the weather in Thailand. Coming from the West, going over to the East, um, um, was there a, a big change in, in the climate? And how did that affect your game? It looked like it didn't affect your game at all. Um, of course, it's, it's a huge change from Spain to, uh, to Thailand. But um, at the end of the day, I grew up in this climate also. You know, it's nothing very new to me. And we came here days earlier to to adjust and I help my body adapt. Um, so I think that was one of the reasons that I, it wasn't a big issue for me this week. Yeah. Alex, how- It would actually be very interesting because like we were here a week before and then just before arriving here, um, we were in Miami Open for Alex Blake and uh, she had to get her booster uh, vaccine. Mm -hmm. And coming here, of course, you know, uh, it's a long journey and then it affected a little bit the preparation, but thank God uh, in the end, the uh, result was what we wanted. Yes. It's super, super amazing because I know, Shemper, you've been playing in Europe where it's not humid at all. And then Miami, I know it was a little hot, but not like the humidity here in Southeast Asia. And I was a little concerned. I was texting with your mom now. Panayan, you haven't played in this in this weather in so long, which we know really affects the matches. But you went five days early. And after that first uh, round that you had where you went three sets and you were down a set and three love, pretty much after that, would you say you regained your, your momentum and you felt comfortable in all your other matches? Because they were all part of straight set, no? I think that that match gave me a lot of confidence with my game yeah. and with my fitness. Um, to be, it was very hard to be able to come back from that. Um, having her, like her having the momentum and 
you know, in a new environment and everything. Um, and uh, not having played so many matches this year, I think that match gave me a lot of confidence in terms that I was able to fight back, which made yeah. it easier to me and more, which made me more prepared uh, mentally for the next couple of matches. Do you have your Nadal? Do you have your coaches there with you? Is Coach Danny there with you from the? Yes, Rapa? Danny is here with me. Yeah. Mm. So okay. it's just the two of you, or you have a? Well, I know your mom and dad followed, but who else is with you there? Um. Well, there's this one girl also that used to be in the academy that we're kind of taking care of, uh, from Australia. But otherwise, that's it. Well, Alex, tell us about your plans. Um. What about the Southeast Asian Games? Is that in the picture? Yes, it, 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 it is definitely in the picture. Okay, so um, that means yeah. now that you're in Thailand, are you going to be staying in Asia until uh, the Southeast Asian Games? Are you thinking of going back? Are you coming over to Manila? What are your plans? Well, the plans are really up in the air right now. Um, we okay. cannot, I cannot really say for sure what uh, I'm planning to do after Thailand, but Hopefully, I get to go home a couple of weeks or um, see my see my friends and my family, um, and then we we'll go to. But going to Vietnam is for sure. <laughs> All right. We are coming back to Manila, <laughs> or yes. not sure? No, ah. I, I I will come back to Manila. Looks like okay. she will. Yes. So um, after uh, this twenty five k, next week is another twenty five k. Are you gonna play or you're gonna skip yes. one? No, I'm going to play that also. Starts on Tuesday, I think. In the yeah. same, uh, yeah. In the same uh, place, yeah. <laughs> so exciting! So exciting because you have Thank all these you. tournaments that you're that you're that have been lined up for you. But uh, I just want to go back to the Southeast Asian Games. How many events are you going to be uh, playing in? Um, are you going to do mixed doubles, um, ladies doubles, singles? I believe that I will be doing singles, um, mixed, and teams. But okay. uh, uh, I think okay. it can still be uh, altered and changed. It, it's okay. not confirmed. If, but if it's going to be mixed, are you going to be playing with Trek Yui? I don't know anything oh, yet okay. about so that. I haven't been yet. told anything okay. yet. No. Nothing yet down the line. But uh, Diane, those are very interesting prospects uh, for us oh, so to be joining up with Trip, maybe in the mixed doubles, and maybe with, uh, I don't know, with somebody else in the ladies' uh, doubles. Um, that's possibly what three gold medals I, I think there's also going to be a team event so i'm i'm counting the medals alex i'm counting the medals <laughs> Wait, step, by step, step by step it's actually going to be your first southeast asian games believe it or not yes. me. so i mean even at 16 you know but shempre uh mga pinoy they're so excited for for any gold medals diba? but uh, i i know that threat and you had a chat about talking uh, playing in the sea games at the australian open so that might be super exciting right to play with to play mixed doubles with jet because i think it's been a while since you played a mixed doubles tournament i don't think it, yeah it's been since then and on their back so, <laughs> yeah um, with my brother it's probably the last mix i played but um no it would definitely be a great experience for me and a great opportunity to play with um with to play with threat and um, I would be looking forward to it. Wait, I want to ask you about this tournament because you know, uh, Mike, um, it it you know you've been campaigning in Europe um, in the pro circuit. How different was it for you uh, competing in Southeast Asia? And um, I know that you sort of upped your game to make it like more aggressive. You've really improved your serve. Um, can you tell us your uh, your game now? Uh, playing in the pro circuit and what's your focus and next goals um well i've said a lot of times that i'm not big on um goals like in terms of results but uh i think i'm after this week i will be close to breaking top 400 so hopefully by the end of these three weeks i will hopefully wow. <laughs> you'll wow. be 400 oh that's good that's great I'll okay. be close to raising off. Close. Uh, not there I yet. I want to um, ask uh, Mike. Uh, Mike. Yes. Uh, yes. Can you can you share us your 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 observations as far as Alex's maturity, composure, and her overall game? Um, just 
from last year to now, because we've seen a lot of improvement in that short period of time. I guess the most notable part in Ito is the fitness of Alex has improved a lot over last year. Uh, mm -hmm. Injured or not, and plus the last quarter of last year she was injured, the fitness still continued. I mean, except for the part which had an injury, right? But she continued her fitness all throughout. So the fitness-wise, you can tell she's better, like even after long matches, the day after her body is not sore. Um, she moves faster on the court. And uh, even if the, the points are long drawn, she still continues to engage. Uh, another probably uh, area would be the maturity of her game. She's starting to uh, be very uh, cautious or let's say uh, calculating when it comes to the big points of the matches where she can make a big uh, swing in the momentum of a match. So those small important things seem to add up to uh, where we would like to remember over the next year or two. So uh, improvement is there and we're very excited for it. What's next? Yeah, Alex had a tough last quarter. She got injured leading up to the Austria US Open. And then I think you got COVID in December. And then, you know, like, so <laughs> your training wasn't like really ideal, but it seems that you really recovered. They did such a good job at the Nadal Academy. Alex, during those times, um, how did you stay positive? I know the Nadal, Nadal group and, you know, your people around you are very positive, but Honestly, like for tennis players who have to go through so much with injuries and traveling, all that, what were they telling you that really helped you that um, made you stay positive and even improve your game? Well, um, I think the two main things that helped me, of course, first is a great support team um, from my family and also from the academy um, to really still focus on, on specific things and have a plan during that period of time and the second thing that i think really helped me is having something to look forward to um for example like a tournament or the first day i got to get back on court or you know having things to to look forward to i think that kept me motivated well you know you, you were saying that you don't really set goals because you know a lot of times um things happen for a reason and there are so many changes but I'm going to ask you something looking way, way ahead. Um, I know that you're 16 years old. You've just won this championship in uh, Thailand. You're looking forward to the Southeast Asian Games. But we Filipinos, we always dream of the Olympics. Is that part of your dream? 2024 Paris Olympics. I know there's going to be a qualifying process, but going through that and with the maturity and also the level of confidence that we're seeing in the way you talk about your game and the way you've uh, displayed tremendous toughness on the court. I think an Olympic dream is within grasp. Well, what do you think? <laughs> well, definitely joining the Olympics is, um, is something that uh, has, been on, has been on my mind, uh, just like the Grand Slams. Um, but it's also a very difficult, like the Slams, it's a very difficult process to mm -hmm to qualify for. Um, so <laughs> I think that will also depend on, that will heavily depend actually on my, uh, my results for the next couple of years. So, well, wait and see. <laughs> yeah, it's, I know. But um, Mike, how happy are you about making it flying from the States and watching her win another championship? I know you did that in the French Open last year. You, you arrived in the semifinals, ba? I arrived last night, so just in time for the finals. But we arrived the night before, <laughs> in time for the semis. So thank God, good results, Diane. We're so happy, yeah. super happy. Oh, yeah. we're so happy so, for uh, you. Yeah, thank uh, you, thank you. Yeah, Alex, how are you feeling right now? I know you're 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 very uh, conservative about uh, your achievements, but this is a for me this is really a big one because I know that you went through a lot and to you know, to, to bounce back at this early part of the year and win a title, your second pro title in a 25000 dollars tournament. Um, how are you feeling right now? I feel 
super fulfilled with this week and how how I was able to fight my way um, round by round, especially after everything that's been going on, um, COVID and my injury. And um, I've been working really, really hard these past couple of months. Um, so I'm super happy that that I can see the, well, the result of, of my hard work. Yeah. Can we see the trophy again? Yeah. <laughs> There, wow. Wait, uh, it's a 25. Actually, uh, actually, I'd rather see the cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that we're so happy. We're so happy. Yeah. Alex, yeah, just super. ask a couple of questions. Na lang. Um, right after your, you know, like right after your final, I, I could see that the court was like super hot, right? And then like every time I watch the pros, like after they're after they win, win or lose, actually, like Nadal, Feather, all these girls, even like Barty, they go to the gym and do the 10 minute bike for cool down. Do you also do that in the in a full stretch? Of course, I have to. I have to. You're uh, in the gym it's... right now. Yeah, I am. I am. I just finished the cool down. Uh, okay. I think if I don't do that, then it, my body will not be ready to compete. Um, and of course, I'm planning to to go week after week, back to back. So I think it's even more important that I do it. Well, so you were saying, also. yeah, go ahead, please. You, you yeah. grew up, I remember you grew up in the Philippines where it's super mainit. Pero Thailand, I know, is even more mainit. So, uh, and you haven't played there in, in Asia in three years. So after a couple of matches, you were able to like, your body was like able to remember that kind of you know, stress mm -hmm. on the body that's really different? I think at the first few days was actually quite hard <laughs> to breathe and to, to move. Yeah. I felt very heavy, but I, I think the past couple of days I've come to like the feeling and remember like when you're sweating and, and you know, when it's very hot and it's an important point. Uh, deja vu. I don't know how to... It's nostalgic. That's the word, nostalgic. But I think the Asian food also helped, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think what, all, what also helped, I think, was your presence. Um, family support. You guys were there in time for the finals. I mean, I would be ecstatic. And uh, you know, super congratulations to Alex and Mike, Thank you. And your whole family. That's all, Alex. For, uh, Thank you. Not just for this achievement on a personal basis, but for this achievement for, on a national basis, uh, with the Philippines always looking for bright things to talk about, this this is a, a breath of fresh air. And we're hoping that Alex uh, will bring even more honor and glory to our country in the Southeast Asian Games and beyond. And you know, as Diane was saying earlier, we had a big victory um, this morning, Manila time, uh, our, our Olympic bronze medalist, Yumir Marshall, came back from three knockdowns, Mike, to win oh, wow. the upage in the fourth round. So that was an wow, incredible fantastic. victory. Incredible victory. Wow. So wow. Good, day. Good, day for good day for the Philippines. Yeah. All hey, right. Before you go, I want to ask go. Alex, you, I want to ask Alex, do you play better when your parents are watching, when they're there, or, <laughs> or, it, or, like, or it doesn't matter now? I don't think, I don't think it changes, but that, I think, I don't think my, uh, Physically, anything changes, but I definitely think mentally there is an effect. <laughs> so you like it? <laughs> With yeah, that. of course, I, I like it. Inspiration Maybe. right there. <laughs> That's well, good. Congratulations. Yeah. And Diane, yeah. thank you very much for arranging this for Play It Right TV. Uh, what an amazing episode that we're, uh, we're having now, uh, chatting with Alex and Mike. And we want to thank uh, them. We want to thank everyone for making this uh, Play It Right TV episode possible. Okay, Mike, congratulations. Okay. Thank you. That's looking forward to another interview when you win again next week. Uh, same, is it the same, <laughs> same place? Sorry? Yeah, same, same place. Same yeah. court? Same court. Oh, and same people? More or less. I think there are a few new, newer people. That's fantastic. Uh, we can't. I think they're going to be gunning for you now. So uh, <laughs> you're the Wait. target now. 
Alex, okay. advance happy birthday. You're, are you turning 17 in May? Uh, yeah, I'm turning 17, but it's a long long time. <laughs> long time. Are you the French Open Juniors? Sorry? Are you playing the French Open Juniors? Or try um, to no. Play? Mm, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think I'll be joining. Because that's right after SEA Games also. So, maybe, may, uh, probably not. Okay. But Wimbledon, yes. No plans yet after after that time. After that time. But okay, no plans yet. A week. Okay, thanks, Alex. We're Thank so you. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you again. God Thank bless. You. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.